Go pee, Luna. Go pee. Waking me up every morning to go pee. But you don't even go when I take you outside. Oh, okay, that's what we're doing. Okay. Good morning. It's time to feed the pups. I got this new slow feeder for Leo. The ceramic bowls that you can find on Etsy. And I've wanted to get Leo a slow feeder for a while because he eats his food so fast. Like, the whole thing is gone in 20 seconds. This has helped him slow down significantly. It'll take maybe like a minute or two longer. It's really great. And you just like evenly distribute it in the bowl. It's freaking great. Just like that. Open Farm hooked it up and got my replenishments for the month, cod skins, and their freeze dried raw. I have some more back there. Today we're gonna have lamb. And of course we're gonna add some of their bone broth as well. If you guys are interested, um, if you use a link in my description box, you'll get some money off of your purchase. So check that out. Gonna add some air dried smelt. This is from Happy Dog. And there you have it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of this coffee. Now I just have to control my nicotine cravings because I really associate nicotine and caffeine. It's like hand in hand. It's like the perfect combo for me. That would be like my cocktail for when I work or when I do anything really. I've just been readjusting with that. Obviously I still like to have my coffee but holding back on the nicotine, which is hard. I am trying out my new camera. I got a Fujifilm X-T4. It's my first time going into Fuji. I had to spend hours and hours learning the whole entire like menu and interface, which was challenging, but I have been loving it so far. This camera has been awesome. It's, I'm just like, I feel like a kid with a new toy. Anyways, uh, I just got done getting ready. My bangs are finally getting longer so I can just pull my hair back. Um, I actually really miss this style, this like middle part, pulled back bun, super chic and clean. I do miss my bangs, but they'll make a comeback later on when life feels more normal and we're able to be out and about. But for now, being at home, I just want my hair slicked back. <laughs> um, I wanted to pop in and talk about a brand that I've been loving. I just wanna say thank you so much to Organic Basics for partnering up with me on this video. And I'm actually wearing a couple of their pieces right now. They focus on conscious clothing, they're sustainable, ethical, very aligned with how I like to shop and um, 
our values at Women. So it really felt like a very organic partnership and I'm super excited because not only do I love the brand and their values, uh, but their pieces are phenomenal and I can't wait to go through some of my favorite pieces from them. I've been living, living in their home loungewear. This is actually their activewear, but even their activewear just feels so comfortable. I have on the active muscle tank and their active yoga shorts. Both the tank and the yoga shorts are made with recycled nylon, which is amazing. And it's treated with polygene. And what that is is an antimicrobial, so there's no bacteria buildup, which as a result, you don't have to wash your pieces as frequently as you normally would. This combo is just so comfortable because this muscle tank is very breathable. So if you're like a hot, warm sleeper, even going to bed in something like this, it's just so nice. Another set that I've really been enjoying is the Active Sports Bra. It has like an open bag. I love their logo. It's so cute. And these are their active leggings. So it's pretty much like the yoga shorts, but leggings. And again, these are both made with recycled nylon. I can run in the set, do hit training, and it just feels really snug. Most importantly, it's just extremely comfortable. Moving on, I wanna talk about some loungewear, underwear type of pieces. Starting off, I have their invisible tank in black and this is a seamless fabric, just hugs my body in all the right places. Waking up wearing this, it's just like heaven. I love how the design is just very minimal. No special cutouts, just very basic, which is right up my alley. Their invisible line really is just that. It, it feels invisible on the skin. I like that when I wear this tank in bed, it doesn't roll up. You know how sometimes you wear tanks or t-shirts and uh, you're in bed and they kind of like roll up on your skin? This doesn't do that. It just stays put. It's perfect and it's so comfortable. And lastly, I want to talk about their tinsel line. I have their tinsel briefs and I have two pairs of these. I got the two pack. This is in the shade Dusty Rose. These are like my at home favorite type of underwear to wear. And I'm actually wearing the uh, tinsel sing singlet. It's a tinsel tank underneath my muscle tank. If you guys have never heard of tinsel, it's an eco-friendly fabric that um, is made from eucalyptus. It is extremely soft um, and very breathable again. So, and that about wraps up my haul from Organic Basics. I would definitely recommend trying them out because it is incredible. If you guys are interested, there'll be links for all the pieces that I mentioned, um, as well as a 10% discount code in the description box. So check them out. I hope you guys like it. And that's about it. I'm making chuk. I haven't made this in a really long time. And the first step is to toast the sweet rice. I soaked the rice for about an hour. Um, and then you let it drain out and now I am toasting it in a pan or a pot shall I say using my caraway pot. It's super non-stick. I love this pot. I finally chopped some shiitake mushrooms, got some carrots, garlic, and green onions. Over here I have my chicken breast that I'm gonna shred up and throw into the porridge as well. Added the shredded chicken. I'm gonna add a little bit more stock. Looks good, huh? Wait, what? What's this? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> what is this? That's a shredded, not big chunks. What is this? Cucumber pantan, some kimchi, and chicken porridge. I 
I attempted to make chocolate chip cookies, but they expanded way too much. Okay. Separating pretty nicely. Wow, this is a fat ass cookie. Ooh, I think I'm gonna sprinkle some sea salt on top. See Luna? She's all the way over there. Don't have the right lens. Luna, come. Come on. I don't know why she goes through that little hole. Come on. She knows how to jump. Good. Better decisions. And then she likes to go all around the edge. Look at that. What is that? What, what is that, Luna? Yeah. Huh? Don't understand. Okay. You guys. What? So I was trying to put some dry shampoo in my head, and this is the way dry foam shampoo. And I haven't used this in like probably six months and I think the part where it dispenses out got kind of like crusty with product and I was trying to mess with it because it wouldn't work and then out of nowhere it just exploded I'm like speechless <laughs> but I do love way and nothing against way I don't think this happens often it's just it's probably a one-time thing Hello, day because Dori passed away. His health just like declined the past couple of days. <laughs> I've never dealt with a loss of a pet and it really feels like like somebody in your family has passed because he really was like a part of the family and he was around for so long and he was such a good dog it makes my heart ache to see my mom so sad and like she she told me that he passed away around 1 p.m. today and he passed away in my mom's arms you know she could see it in his eyes and he was looking at her and she was just like yeah just 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 go peacefully Yeah. Like 
it just my heart just fucking aches <laughs> ready to take him to get him cremated but my mom wanted to give me the chance to see him one last time before they went and so I said my goodbyes and I know <laughs> in his next life he's going to be extremely happy it's been a rough week so delicious so if you're ever craving dumplings highly recommend their seaweed salad is to die for i get like a whole tub and i could eat all of this and i ordered um vegan dumplings not vegan but sometimes i just like to keep it healthy and their vegan dumplings are so yummy the filling is delicious so this is my lunch and i'm very very excited the filling looks so good Luna has not been wanting to eat. If you guys own a husky, please let me know if you have this issue, especially during the summertime. Um, she hasn't been wanting her breakfast. Towards the evening, she's fine, and she's very uh, food motivated and wants to eat her dinner, but breakfast, she's been completely wasting her frozen raw patty, which isn't cheap. Um, sometimes I think that it's the food that she's tired of, but then for dinner, she'll be really excited so let me know if you guys have that issue with your husky because it's been a struggle trying to feed Luna will you eat it's your favorite
go with the fence or something. Dying to go down this hill. Look at this dog. So cute. It's okay, Lynn. I feel like so much has happened in this vlog um, so I just want to come in and kind of talk about everything and how I'm doing um, I know my emotions are probably everywhere in this vlog and to start off I did get very sick uh, earlier on in the month I had either food poisoning or the stomach flu my stomach was very upset for a very long time so I obviously took a step back from vlogging I wasn't really able to do much um, but I'm feeling much better now so that happened and then also as you guys saw my childhood dog uh, passed away last week and that was really tough on me i actually have never dealt with losing an animal before that was my first time and it was just so hard to not be there in virginia just to see how much pain my mom was in was like devastating his name was dory and he was a shih tzu he came into our lives when I was, I think in ninth or 10th grade. Um, he was originally my cousin's dog. I kind of mentioned how he didn't really have time to take care of him. And I begged my parents if, to keep him. And my parents have never been like dog people. My mom is very allergic to dogs, but Shih Tzus are um, hypoallergenic. So that kind of worked out. They definitely grew a bond, especially once I moved to LA. Um, I couldn't bring Dodi with me and he became my parents' dog and he's been around for a very long time. He was 15 when he passed so, you know, he lived a really great life. He was so spoiled. He was like a son to my mom and it was really, really hard to hear about like the couple of days uh, leading up to his passing, him just being very sick, and uh, the day of. He had a peaceful death uh, at my parents' house, and my mom witnessed the entire thing, which I just like commend her because I don't know how to handle that, nor do I ever want to, but you know, I have two dogs of my own, and it's just the cycle of life. I think the initial passing of a pet is just like, you're grieving, you're so upset and sad and nothing that anyone says can make it better. But as time passes, you start to just think of the really great memories and the happy times that you guys got to share. So I have a lot more clarity and my headspace is just very clear and I am in good spirits now. Another topic I wanna talk about is uh, me quitting nicotine. I was just like overwhelmed by the support. So thank you so much to anyone who has left a comment telling me that I can do it and just being so understanding. I feel like non-smokers don't really understand how difficult it is and I don't know, I just really felt the support and it really encouraged me to keep keep on going and I have not touched the jewel. I have not had a hit of nicotine. Let's see how long it's been now. It's going on four weeks free of nicotine and I couldn't feel any better. Never in my life did I think I would get to this point. When you're so addicted, it just feels like this day could never come. You're kind of just in your nicotine trap and you don't have the willpower to even want to quit. You're just like, I'd rather just keep doing this, live my life, but I am so proud of myself and I'm so happy. I do wanna talk about a little something that I didn't mention in the last video just because I was super nervous that my parents would watch it. Um, they still haven't called me yet about it, so I think they're behind on the vlogs. And yes, they watch every single vlog, but 
I actually did smoke cigarettes in the past. So when I first started smoking, I was uh, vaping. This is before Jules came out. This was like six years ago. And then I was vaping for a very long time. Um, but then socially, I would smoke cigarettes. So I was kind of doing both. Then I like completely stopped smoking cigarettes. The Jewel was born, which is so fucking dangerous because I personally think that the Jewel is even more addicting than a cigarette. Just for reference, I would have one Jewel pod a day. That is just absurd. At the time, any of my friends who would Jewel, one Jewel pod would last them a week. On the Jewel box, it says that one pod is equivalent to one pack of cigarettes. So that just says a lot in itself. And I started to ask myself, not that either of those options are healthy, but what is healthier? Jeweling one pod a day, which is horrible, or having like two to three cigarettes a day. You know, with smoking tobacco and cigarettes, you get all the tar and the chemicals, but there's also, I'm sure chemicals in vaping and the convenience of vaping, just being able to do it as soon as you wake up. The jewel is very deceiving, you know? It's one, it's just so travel friendly. Two, um, it doesn't smell, you have no odor. It actually like smells great, it tastes great, there's flavors. And then getting back into cigarettes, it was like the total opposite. I hated the smell. I felt like I always had to brush my teeth. Every time I smoked a cigarette, I needed like a mint or a piece of gum. But the only beneficial part was that I wasn't doing it all day. Anyways, so that's kind of been the journey for the past uh, six or seven years. And I just recently decided to quit because I knew that I really wanted to one day. I just didn't think it would be this soon. I thought maybe like, when I hit 30s or when I'm thinking about like having kids or you know, I don't know, but the first couple of days are so rough and I'm not gonna lie, like I'm, I was so moody, didn't wanna be around anyone um, and I was very depressed and I had a lot of withdrawals and you know, just day by day it got better and now I can be around people who smoke or jewel and I don't, crave it. If you're a smoker like me and you've been wanting to quit, you'll always find an excuse on why to not do it right now. Um, and I highly recommend just going for it. One book that really helped me is Alan Carr's Easy Way to Stop Smoking. I highly recommend reading that. It is a phenomenal book. Use your resources and also you just, you gotta be brave and uh, know that you can do it. It's gonna be a tough, couple of days at first, but you will start to see the light at the end of the tunnel, I promise you. And I hope that my journey inspires you to do it as well because there's nothing good that nicotine is bringing to your life. It's a very serious thing and you're self-inflicting on your own body. That should be enough explanation for you to stop smoking. Go on the route to a healthier life. So anyways, I just wanted to pop in and like do a little update because I feel like there's a lot of stuff that happened in this vlog. <laughs> You've made it to the end of the vlog. I know my vlogs are like super long. Let me know if you guys enjoy longer vlogs or shorter vlogs, but it always feels like a movie. <laughs> Thanks so much again to Organic Basics for sponsoring this video. I'll have all the links in the description box. You guys will love their site and their products, so make sure you check them out because they're super dope. I'll see you guys in the next one.